Hello there. It's Wednesday afternoon, five to two. I'm out for a wild camp. Nice tarp and bivy. I had a couple of uh, possibilities in mind for my first camp of 2024. I was gonna go to the Simon Side Hills and walk across past Spoiler and come to a forest that way. To have an explore of the other side, but uh, because it's still holiday season, there's a fair few walkers about, and I just fancied some peace and quiet, a nice chilled out camp. So I've come to the other end of the forest, it's almost like my spiritual home. As soon as I come here, even driving along the road, I feel so calm and peaceful. When I get out of the car and start walking between the fir trees, I feel even better. I swear the air is just superb here. I just love it. So where better really for the first camp of 2024 than somewhere that makes you feel lovely. Just a chilled out camp. I've got plenty of time. I'm going to try a new little path just round the corner here and see where that takes me. But if we're going to talk about spiritual homes in the forest, it would have to be my last pitch. Not far from the trig point, the one by the ditch. Either the ditch or the grass around the ditch. There's something about that spot. You never see anybody. And it's so quiet. It's just unbelievable. And you often see the wildlife as well. Well, I fancy you somewhere a little bit different today. Because I can't get going to the same ones. But we'll hopefully find somewhere else. But we've always got that as a backup. So we'll see you in a bit let's have a mooch up this one for something different it's a nice quiet track isn't it it's only two o'clock so I've got loads of time it's quite an ankle breaker this is certainly a quiet spot isn't it Everywhere you walk, look, is a, there's a potential bivy spot. I mean, look at that perfect bit of flat ground there in between the trees. Well, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. Got all these branches and there's so much soft stuff underneath. It's really hard going. I'll just take my time because uh, I want to get there. I'm going up to the end of these trees and to see what I can find. I don't know where I am. Well, I do know where I am on the map, map but uh, I thought next to these big trees was going to be an open bit where I could camp. So it looks like it's, this is all sodden and boggy. So it looks like I've got to come up to the top of here. Unfortunate, well, it's not a bad thing, but I appear to be coming back to me familiar spots. It's almost like I'm drawn back to my favourite spots, but it doesn't matter if I am. This is actually quite deep, all this bog. My legs are absolutely soaked. I'll have my damn trousers on soon. Anyway, it's a nice fresh walk in a beautiful place. So does it matter where we end up? It really doesn't. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Yeah. Right, come back soon. You could walk for miles on these various tracks and fire breaks or whatever. This really is a boggy one, mine, this one. Oh, go okay, to so these trousers. I've got waterproof trousers, but I didn't bring gaiters with me because, uh, I originally intended to go up 
a more crushed spoil or unlike just muddy tracks but due to the amount of uh, people about I've ended up here and to my uh, well in my wisdom I thought I'd try somewhere new and I have ended up on this squelchy track but you live and learn and it's another route now that I'm now in the forest I haven't been, I haven't got wet feet yet, it's just uh, wet trousers. Ah, come to an open bit now, let's have a look. We'll turn the camera around. Oh, I don't need to do it. Let's just uh, come up here, look. There's the hills over there. I'll just turn this round. I don't think there's anywhere I can camp just here. Right, my familiar spot is just up there. Looks like I'm going to have to go there today. For some strange reason, I thought on the edge of these trees I would find some views and some flat bits, but it's not to be. Whew. It's really, really wet around here, so. It's now we're pitching the tarp on a swamp. I'll just uh, let you enjoy what I can say. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Looks like I'm going up to there, look. What you can see in the distance. Familiar spot, but it doesn't matter. To anybody that thinks I've took the easy option, you want to try walking on this. I'm going to come away over here. See if it's a bit drier. Ooh. I'm actually out of breath, pulling my legs out of all this wet stuff. It's a beautiful day though, I mean, no wind at all today. Look, even the turbines over there are still. Fabulous. Oh, look at it, I love it. Right, slowly onwards. The drainage channels are working over time. Loads of water in them. I'll find a place to cross. Well, I've just picked myself across all of that, right from those big trees in the distance. I'm absolutely cattled. My legs are soaked, look. Oh, look at the lovely mist over there. So maybe I should apologise for ending up in the same spot, but I didn't know I was going to end up here. But it's my camp and I'm going to chill out. So hopefully you'll still enjoy it and we'll go somewhere different next week. Maybe try that uh, route I was going to do. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Gee, it's in the distance, look. Simon Side Hills. Oh, I love it. That camp I did on the top of the forest was nice, wasn't it? That was right uh, just up there on the top of that hill. Right, let's go and have a look if anybody's messed up the trig point over New Year and Christmas. Doesn't appear to be anybody here. Oh, I've really enjoyed that walk. I know it's killed me and I'm soaking wet, but I've explored a new area. I know not to go back to it, so a lesson learned. It's looking quiet here, look. I might be pitch up here tonight. Nobody's messed it up. Turbines are still stationary. We haven't had many wind-free days this year, have we? Look at that. Oh, it's smashing, isn't it? Smashing. Because it's absolutely windless, I'm going to find myself a nice flat spot so I'll get a perfect sleep. But let's just have a look at this.
You can't apologise for coming back to a known spot, not when it's as nice as this. I mean, it's been a busy Christmas and I'm just going to lie back and take it in. Look at it. Absolutely fantastic. Really is a nice spot, isn't it? All right, let's have a look around the camp, shall we? The rucksack, sit mat, gloves, and the blue baggies me down trousers are there. The army bivvy, ex-ped mat, foil pad, and I've got me pillow inside. There's me pillow there. I've got me uh, cooking bag there, me electronic hand warmers, some hand warmers I can use for me feet, a couple of bags of water. I've got me coffee bags, me instant coffee, me milk, me tea bags, a fire pot, a fire pot meal, pasta bolognese, porridge. I must have that uh, naked sweet chilli noodles tonight. I keep carrying it with me and I never eat it. A couple of snacks. And obviously, the kettle is on. I'm long overdue a coffee. So the way I've set the tarp up, this is a new tarp I've bought. It's a DD Hammocks 2B2. Just to try it for the bad weather because I can drop it down to the ground lower and there's not so much material. I've got uh, it tied onto the, well, in the centre, I've just got a calabina onto my ridge line. Normal knots, overhand knots there and on the back tie out. These are, uh, oh, I can't think of the name now, but clove hitch knots going down there. That's some spare cord. A couple of guy lines just to keep it tight. Same over here, a clove hitch, a normal overhand knot. The end of the ridge line is just done with an adjustable guy line knot, which is there. I can tighten that up if I need to. So that's the pitch. I could put the uh, bivy sideways if I wanted to, but the way I'm going to have it is just that way. I can lie on my back and look at the view. Hey, look at it. Fabulous. The mist is really coming in. It's going to be a very damp one. So I haven't decided yet. Do I put the mat inside the bivy? Or do I just chance the bivy on top of it? But because the exped mat has got the uh, long ridges, any water will run, run down hopefully anyway. So I might just try it like that. Because obviously in the middle of the night, if it did get uh, really wet, <coughs> oh, excuse me, if it did get really wet, it'd be too late to pull it in the bivy then. But uh, look, you can even see the mist coming behind me, look. It's fabulous, isn't it? It really is fabulous. I love the way the mist is just moving across. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We'll uh, lose the Simon Side Hill shortly, I think. It's moving left to right. Fabulous. Oh, I can hear the, I can hear the uh, kettle singing. There's the camping mascot as well. The daughter likes to, to see it in the shot. I shall hide it somewhere later. Now it's uh, first camp of 2024. Wasn't a bad thing ending back at this spot. It's just such a chilled out spot. Probably my favorite spot in Northumberland. The ditch just over there and this spot. It's funny that, that piece of ditch round there that I use is bone dry and yet down here you can't even, you know, you'd be ankle deep in water but you follow it round and it dries right up. This, this one here is a boggy one as well. Oh, there we go, look, the kettle's exploded. Time to make a brew. Just lying here and watching the views. The mist is certainly coming across now.
Nice watching the mist, I must say. Nice chilled out camp just lying here. We'll lose sight of the hills soon because uh, dusk's not too far away. It's lovely though, isn't it? So much for the nice dry forecast. It's now hammering it down. It's a bit late now to put the bivvy in the... Uh, the the mat in the sleeping in the bivvy as well because it's already wet on the sides so that it'll have to stop out there be a good test anyway this is how i used to be when i used to use the magic carpet which was just 140 by 140 centimeters i used to just protect my head and have the rest of my body in the rain that's what the, the bivvy's for isn't it this is lovely this is how i'm just lying under here look nice and dry And just just watching the world, lovely. Just so chilled out, lovely. I might have to turn the uh, bivy sideways. It's uh, it's pooling water now. It's absolutely torrential rain now. Be dusk coming up very very shortly now. Well, it is dusk, isn't it? The, the daylight's failing fast. The mist has rolled in. No rain at all today or tomorrow. Or Friday, according to the forecast. And that's the local forecast where I'm sat. No rain at all, but uh, we don't worry about things like that. Gives you a good idea, doesn't it? But uh, I really don't care now. Anyway, I'm set up, I'm under the tarp, and I'm just chilled out. It can snow rain, it can do whatever it wants. Fantastic. This Gore-Tex is good stuff, isn't it? I mean, look at that water just lying on it, look. Hey, nice and dry. If, it, if the rain gets too bad, I might turn it sideways so there's just a couple of inches out the bottom of the top over on this side. I'm just stirring my leg in the way there. I've got loads of space. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to my next coffee. That last one, I, I, I boiled enough water ready for my meal as well. Then I didn't didn't have the meal and I put the coffee bag in, in too much water, so it was a bit weak. Not enough strong enough for me, so my next coffee will have to be a strong one. I made a right mess of that one. Not to worry. And I couldn't stick another bag in it, couldn't I? I wouldn't have had enough. Because I I sort of measure out what I bring. The only thing I have spare is the uh, instant coffees, because you've always got a backup then, haven't you? Hey, it's blooming weather. Yeah, like that. I'm just lying in the bivvy here. I've got myself my last brew of the night. I'll be having this big coat off in a bit. I've got my t-shirt on. That's all I need in the uh, Rab 1100 bag. And what I'll do, I'll roll this up and I'll stick it in the top of, in the, top of the bivvy there, behind the sleeping bag. Give me some extra for lift, make it even more comfortable than my normal pillow. It's... Uh, you can't show it on the camera, but I've lost my sight now because of this light. But I'm just lying back here, enjoying this. You can see the outline of some of the trees. You can see the horizon, and you can see the sky where it's lighter than the ground. It's it's just lovely lying back in the bivvy. You'd get none of that in a tent at all. If you haven't tried a bivvy, you've got to do it. I mean, I've lay here in the pouring, bear in mind it was forecast dry. But obviously these areas have their own microclimate. I lay here in the pouring rain. I've got the, uh, see if I can turn it round. Obviously there's, there's the front of the tarp up there. So the bottom of the, the bottom three quarters of the bivvy is actually exposed to the, to the rain. But you haven't got to worry about it because you're sleeping bags in a bivvy. You know, 
this here keeps your head dry and your top of your body so you've got room to get changed and what have you and then you, your eyes get accustomed to it you can enjoy more of the sounds of the countryside i mean i've been listening to the deer's bark and everything i know you hear it in a tent but it's far far better in a bivvy if you haven't bivvied yet you really should try it and it's uh i don't know i mean it's just something nice to try so uh, I've been invited to a group camp on Saturday night. I won't say uh, who it's with, but it's in the forest. And uh, I've just had a, a message there tonight to say I can come along on that. So I'm looking forward to that. I've already checked with the wife and she said, uh, even, I mean, I'm out on a Wednesday. Now I'm back out on a Saturday. It's a bit cheeky like, but uh, she said I can go. So I'm a, I'm a lucky chappy. So I'll have that to look forward to. Right, well, there's not much more to say. It's pitch black. I'm going to finish my brew. And then uh, I'll come back in the morning. Well, good morning. It's just quarter past six. I've just woke up. I woke up to some really heavy rain, really pushing down on the old uh, tarp. But uh, it's been a wind-free night. There was no flapping, nothing. I think I woke up. I woke up uh, during some heavy rain in the night. Had a quick tinkle, and uh, that was it. But the rain this morning, dear me! I just uh, it's just stopped for a minute now. I just hope I can pack up in the relative dry, because it was horrendous. So much for a dry forecast. But uh, I'm nice and dry in here. I don't know the sleeping bag. I've got bare feet in the sleeping bag, so I know that's nice and dry. So it's unlikely to be any condensation in the bivvy, but uh, I'm surprised because the exped mat is absolutely drowned. So uh, my theory about the channels keeping me dry seems to have worked. I'll turn it round and show you how wet it is before I pack up. You can see the ex the exped mat it's ringing through but uh it hasn't uh, pe penetrated the bivy at all because i'm bone dry so at least i know i can have the mat outside of the bivy if i want some more space so i'm gonna have my breakfast now have a, have a cup of tea and then a coffee get packed up so I'm packing up now, my sleeping bag and my bivvy are nice and dry. But the mat, you can see it's been absolutely swimming in water. This is swimming in water. And yet I'm bone dry. The bivvy is bone dry inside. So on reflection, if it's going to rain, it's probably not the best idea to put your mat under your bivvy. Although I got away with it because obviously the Gore-Tex is uh, still fairly new. Just a thought, if it's raining, make sure it goes in the bivvy. Well, it doesn't look like the rain's going to stop, so uh, I've just uh, packed up. So there's me bag, absolutely monstrous thing, it's ridiculous. But uh, leave no traces always, that's where I pitched. Hey, look at that, it's still dry, we're out my cup in the night, look. Well, I suppose that's all the hot brews, isn't it? You can't really see much at the minute, look, but... Uh, very misty. It'll probably uh, lighten up on the way back to the car. Probably really enjoyed the camp. Really enjoyed it. Hello there. Right, that's me nearly back at the car. It's been a very wet and misty camp. The rain that come down in the night was unbelievable. And bear in mind it was forecast dry. Today's forecast dry, but uh, I, <coughs> I stayed nice and dry, I stayed warm. It was a good experiment having the mat, the exped mat outside of the bivvy in heavy rain, because even though it was flooded with water in the grooves, 
I stayed dry in the bivvy. I don't know what would happen if uh, the bivvy was a bit worn out and perhaps not as breathable as it should be. So it's probably safer in the rain to put the mat in the bivvy. But it just goes to prove if the kit's in good nick, you can do it. As far as condensation goes, obviously I had plenty under the tarp. But the sleeping bag, the part that was exposed to the rain, it had a very light covering of condensation on the top surface where it touches the river. That's obviously due to the wet on the outside, stopping as much condensation escaping. So I could have got away with a second night's use if I was walking, but uh, you certainly couldn't do more than one or two nights because the sleeping bag gets too wet in the bivet. But overall, I'm very, very impressed with the kit, considering the weather. So we'll see you on the next one. Well, it'll be my group camp this weekend, won't it? And then uh, perhaps the next weekend we'll go on a, a more scenic bivet, which is what I had planned for today. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.